Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. We think the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shotting and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Keane, Coleman, Richarlison, Coleman, fired in, goalkeeper's ball, Murray, March, Gross, it's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective involvement. Proper. Stevens. Kings it out wide. Calvert Lewin. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Proper. Over to the left. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. March. Gross. Calvert Lewin. Dunk plays it forward. Gross tips one through. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Well, that is going to be the final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The first half compared with your expectation. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Dunk. Proper. Dunk drives it front. Keen. Mina. And it's Sigurdsson. Out to the left it goes. 
Gorgeous control there. Has a goal! <laughs> Big relief, it just needed better contact. Richarlison. Calvert Lewin! Oh, the kick has gone ever so well. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class weight. Calvert Lewin. Sigurdsson. Just brushed off the ball there. Gross, Gross plotting from out on the right-hand side, plays it over to the other flank. Schneiderlin. Calvert-Lewin, Lewin spreads it towards the left. And it's Murray. Burn. And here's Murray. Brighton are still clinging on here with not long to go. Everton have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Delph and Delph! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. He's got rid of that. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. He's gone for goal! Yes, he's done it! Save the best for last! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Everton take them. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than 